This is a three-piece device, so the cylinders are considered one piece. This pump, uh, which would be located in the scrotum, is the second piece, and then the reservoir, which is full of fluid. It's a hydraulic device that <laughs> simply works by these two cylinders being inserted into the penis, side by side. Uh, and the reservoir is tucked away in a space that the patient won't be able to feel it. Now it takes uh, about a minute or so to fully inflate this, so uh, the deflation mechanism is just up here and just on the side so he would feel where the bulb was. Just go up slightly above that, feel this little nub, this little uh, button here, and then we just give it a press, and then that would slowly deflate it. Women who undergo breast, uh, breast surgery for cancer, uh, quite honestly have a piece taken for, away from them, a piece of some uh, womanliness or femininity that they feel they really want to be restored. And appropriately so, they have full coverage and full uh, ability to have the necessary procedures to have reconstruction and implants if required. And there's no questions about this. Uh, the flip of our arguments to this is that there are some men, and it is a minority of men, who go through prostate cancer treatments who are not able to be successful with other methods for improving and returning their erections. However, if they need to go move on to an implantation, they need to pay for this out of pocket. Um, as of right now, uh, Saskatchewan is the only jurisdiction that does not cover this particular procedure or implant. Costs ranges between seven and a half to nine thousand dollars for the device itself. The other part that is uh, unfortunately borne by the patient is that it is an uninsured service. So that does mean that all of the consultations, the OR time, anesthesia time, nurses' OR time, sutures, hospital stay, antibiotics are all billed privately to the patient. So that ends up being another seven or eight thousand dollars on average. So the burden, the financial burden to the patient uh, can range somewhere in that fifteen to sixteen thousand uh, dollars for a procedure in order to be returned to the normal potency that they actually had prior to treatment.